Plus, most of those hits and likes are fake. They have people in, in India that just show up like nine to five. It's like factory workers. They they call it click farms. They just legitimately come in, click a, like a bunch of shit, and then they clock out after the day's work. So, no. <laughs> A lot of the songs that I make, I usually will have like a vision for it within like the first like minute of making. I'm like, oh damn! And like once it's like, once I'm grooving to it, I already see like you know what I want to shoot. And I think everything that I do is so visual too. You know, I don't try to have a formula because I feel like once you have a formula, then you get stuck and then you get like caged in, like only doing it this way. So I like to try different things. Uh, how do you measure the success of a music video? By plays, no, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> this event's called Sub Chroma, and the people that are throwing it are called Canvas. And the Canvas is like cool, like, um, I guess they're kind of like a artist community where they all do like events and music. Um, so they're throwing this together to to uh, show like VR, VR technology to. Pretty big. I think Red Bull is sponsoring it, and there are a few different sponsors. Events like this, like they only come like maybe like once a year. how they communicate visually what they were trying to say musically and if it matches a lot you know a lot of times like you see videos that don't necessarily match the, the music so much people should try like their hardest because you're trying to represent your art form so you should be you know representing it properly I pay attention to the concept uh, a lot of times uh, simple is better um, if you can execute a simple video, a lot of times people try to do something too uh, ambitious. And for, if you can execute the simple thing, then you go for the more, more ambitious role. So I look for cohesiveness and uh, visual aesthetics. The video doesn't have to always be like super expensive or professional to be good. At, you know, if you have a good idea that's well executed for a good budget, then you can definitely make an amazing music video. Personally, I could make an amazing video, like the, the content of the video, you know, I could do that for free, I feel like. You just have to get crafty and creative and make your own stuff. Have you ever styled for music videos? Uh, yeah, in, in, in a sense, because I'm the director, I'm the shooter, so I'm always like giving yes or no's to like what should and shouldn't be on screen. Like if there's like a green background, maybe we should wear purple or yellow uh, to make it pop, you know? You play on the character's style, you amplify their character instead of like your own. So you just kind of work to them instead of, you just kind of like have their style be a reflection of themselves. So whatever works for them, you know? Like green doesn't work for everyone, you know? So um, you just kind of play it to that, to that, the feel, it's all about feels. different era today so there's a lot of um, technology in our hands that hasn't been and it's like there's no rights or wrongs when it comes to expressing yourself so you can't really contain it or put a roof over it or like a barrier I should say just do it <laughs> just uh, do it because um, don't be so harsh on yourself with it because we live in an era where people don't really care about your past work, they care about now. So 
as long as you keep on moving and you keep on uh, making more videos, no one's really going to worry about that video that you're going to release because you still have like 20 more to release in the future. So as long as you keep on moving, it's, a, it's all that matters. Make sure it's a product that you want to watch. If it's a product that you want to watch and that you appreciate, and you honestly believe that is a product that you can stand behind, then regardless if you get 100 views or a million views, you just keep going. Because it's exactly what you wanted. And uh, as long as your heart is in it and you, and you're, uh, you persevere and are persist persistent, then uh, the quote unquote, the fans or the views will come, they will come. Just keep your stuff tight. Just do whatever, do what you want to do. It should be competitive for yourself, you know, just to like, so you can grow. But other than that, you know, it shouldn't, you shouldn't worry about anybody else but yourself. So I think those, all those like YouTube likes is no, that's all bullshit. Or you can't tell me that Justin Bieber music video is better than a Michael Jackson video just because it has more hits. You should do the video, you should promote it. Uh, you can even, you should even do paid, uh, paid placements if you can within like the YouTube or Instagram spectrum. But people can't deny good music. So if they love the music, they're gonna replay, they're gonna repost your video regardless, you know? So like you can't really ask for retweets. People innately retweet if it's something or repost if it's something they like. Just keep, just keep working at it, and, and if you love it, and you honestly love it, and it's really good, then people will follow. It. It's, it's inevitable. You can't deny truth, you know. So, yeah. Thank you. Okay. So thank you guys for joining me. Um, this was a cool experience. You know, I got to play a lot of music that I wouldn't play outside elsewhere because you know I think this is like a good event to express myself creatively and artistically. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. So thank you for coming to my home and chilling with me at my studio. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest and stay tuned. I got some more music coming out. <laughs> Mic drop. That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Did you do anything in the music No, I'm, I did all this stuff. I'm actually, yeah, I'm a visual artist. Who's there? Who's that? That doesn't look like you. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a crazy night. Eddie was really nice to us. And we party a lot. We learned a lot from him. As a person who's who is under the label and has a good music video that has a, like thousands of views, his advice was uh, promoting your music video. He was keep saying like don't forget to promote your music video. Don't be in a rush. Just keep promoting it, then release it. And never ever release a bad quality music video. And basically, if your music video is good enough, it's self-promotion. So that's another type of promotion we all forget. We keep saying like, okay, we make a bad music video, but if we keep promoting it on the social media, it's gonna be successful. 
No, I don't think it's going to happen. Basically, you should make a good quality product and keep promoting it on social media, on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, Snapchat, anywhere. Like these guys are free, so just do it. Keep getting followers and keep promoting it. Then putting it out. That's all. I mean, that sounds simple, but even these people, they're not doing it good. Because if Bang Fang music video was promoted better, I'm sure that he should have millions of views. But that's exactly what we're doing it for. We're gonna interview more people. We're gonna figure out that why Bang Fang music video doesn't have millions of views. So, just the beginning.